Greetings everybody, this is Old Blue. How do you do? Being you, more dishonored. And let's continue our game. I do like to admit something to you all. I screwed up. Yep. You know, so we are in the exact same place I logged out at. I mean, I ended that last episode. But there is one slight difference. I just played the next 30 minutes without you. Unfortunately, I forgot to, um, well, turn on my hard drive that I record everything to. Actually, read this one. Don't want to read it again. But, so yeah. That was unfortunate. I'm just gonna grab what I found. And there's a pool of wire somewhere. I don't remember where. But anyway, I do have to apologize first and foremost for that. But at least this will be a much more streamlined episode. Noms. No noms, noms. Mm, cake. Do you mean to tell me you don't know how to curtsy properly? Please, sir. I was never in service with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The Hound Pits has seen a few lords and ladies in its day. If they were and here, not today. I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord <laughs> Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't require it, but he notices. Yes, sir. Sorry. But even so, have you forgotten we may soon be guarding a future empress? You will be in the presence of the most important person in the entire known world, and you don't know how to curtsy. But she's just a child, and she's not even here. No one knows where she is. We well, do. our masters are just the people to find her, I'll have you know. Please learn your manners before then. It's okay, dear. Sometimes I wonder if the plague is just going to go on and on and on, and kill everyone ever, and it's the end of the world. Think of that. Yes. I do believe it might be. Uh, I love upstairs, don't I? Yeah, I do. Hey, I'm a distinguished guest. Go to the attic. place over there which I entirely missed before is pretty much all I discovered go in my room you creepy old man but anyway I'll see now there's actually nothing to find it's actually the same day of, so everything I'm looking for is just that nothing is updated. Anyway, unfortunately, there is no outsider dream tonight. What? <sighs> it was good rest. Slept well for once. And. I don't believe this window was here before. I think I was shuttered closed or something. This book, I believe we have read before. Yes, we have. Some herbs and one other book. Or oh, is the one we read before? Actually, we read them both before. That's nice. And then down here, I fell. I am rocked on the view. <laughs> uh, 
I felt bad. But I've been told, and I know this from experience, faking it is not wise. You hear that, though? My heart is beating. Deals are made here. Sometimes I'm the influence of mine. And sometimes the influence is the point of a knife. I have to say this, though. Trying to get, uh, trying to see if he can get into that window. If that button goes down, into it does not work. I have experience in this now, so. I know the golden cat, not as a patron. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints. If anyone is curious, don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you creepy old man. Thought... Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Oh, creepy old man indeed. Uh -huh. Hello. My name is Samuel. This machine was tossed into the river by the Admiral, but I fetched it. And it appears to be working. Let's see if it is. Test. Test. There we go. Wait, this is where Sam sleeps? The last time I was here, I didn't, I didn't really think about it. Maybe he likes the, the sea air and not having any privacy and one change of clothes and all that bad things. Lord Pemberton. Admiral. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. He should. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the Indeed. servants heard something last night. Moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper. The poor bastard. There's no hope for the I still don't exactly you know, know what a weeper is. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating. Just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to I doubt a guardsman will actually the traverse the sewers. die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that way. And I do. It is every citizen's duty to report freedom of speech and action. I love this. That's a good door. I love doors. For me, I have a weird thing for video game doors. Oh, creepy noises. Uh, that gate right here leads to the outside where we're eating fight fish. This is underneath the bar, the generator room we visited once before. Now we have a quick, that could be our way out if we wish. A good angle on that. What are you, Weeper? I didn't know in just a moment. Grab you. Ooh, money. Sorry, but we won't be here for our next meeting, or ever again for that matter. What happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the result of our labors here for you to keep, but I expect 
the rats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. What's down here? I don't think I remember to look. Oh, the door. Oh, it's in front of the shops. I bet that'll be vitally important in the future when this place gets raided. If it gets raided. But judging how all the high profile things that's going on, I'm guessing it's gonna probably be raided. Now I've taken care of our weeper issue. Let's head outside. Fish, no fish, no be good fish. Don't bite me fish. Don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. Don't bite me. Yes, you didn't bite me. Haha. You went down there in the sewers? Indeed. I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You did. Probably the bravest man I've ever met. I'm not. Overseer Martin has arrived. Thank There's you. Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Thank you very much. That's the most awful looking water. The water's pretty clear. Brownish clear. But anyway, let's head on out. Hot. Before the sun rises, they toss any casualties into the river. Men or hound, they all go in. Indeed they do. Indeed they do. See, now it's the chain. Or not. Oh well. Corvo. Hey guys. I trust you remember Martin. I do. I, I saved you. Before and perhaps again someday soon. That's right. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwood is being held. Indeed. The golden cat of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. Yeah. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. Why would they hold her? Not only are they controlling the Empress's Emily, daughter. But they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, all three of them must be brought here safely <laughs> so we can protect her. Until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Yep. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. I will accept the briefing. Okay. Mr. Pendleton. Moment, if I may. Of course. Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. That's right. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I assume that I warned my brothers start. in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch. So it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Uh, you won't. You have to come, I will. Oh, wait, before we go. We have more bone. What can we choose? Hmm.
do kind of want possession. I don't really want to finish that off. I got the cool one. Oh, yes. Now I need to upgrade that. I'm just going to save these runes for, to finish that off. That's what I'll do. Let's go, Samuel. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I am ready, my friend. Enough times, believe me. I believe you've taken him far too many times. Nifty mask. That seems highly uncomfortable. But if you know me, I, d I really like a mask. I'll get you as close as I can to the golden cat, Corvo. Well, thank you, my friend. The entrance is near Holker Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. That is M2 all that matters. There. Yes, there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on how to get inside the cat if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hold up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and a little lady to bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Didn't I poison that elixir for... Be careful going up the street, Corbin. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on the back. But that... I don't understand. What's going on? There, there's nowhere to go. Hey, when someone says, huh? I don't mean, hey, what are you doing here? That thing can go screw off. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Anyone with information pertaining to the death of High Overseer Thaddeus Campbell is to report to the city watch for immediate questions. I didn't just eat a rat or anything. That was. Hey, you're oh, just the wait. man I was looking for. Me? Slackjaw's one. Talk to you. Oh, he want to talk to me. Shit. Hey. He can ignore me. Is that him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk. Got Three. Still in one there, one there, one up there. We'll be looking for those soon. Actually, guys, this is where I finished my last episode, my uh, recording. Good. Huh. I spent ten more minutes just uh, trying to get up to that window that I couldn't get up to. Who is whispering that? Anyway, guys, uh, let's go into the distillery by being asked. Oh dear.
Lol. I don't think that's what that word means, idiot. Well, how would I know? It's some other way. Anyway, I almost feel sorry for the little boy. I don't. Probably because I know that did it. But. I was invited, right? You know, it's gonna try to kill me. But, uh. Better safe than sorry. to kill I mean steal keys from Do you keep you have keys Oh it's like full now I get to fully get to explore here That's nice oh, but I really need that key Oh dear See one lying around. I guess I have to go get steal from Slackjaw. You'll have it. That's annoying. Got anything to smoke or eat? Shut up. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water down. This art dealer, Bunton, in the man of taste, if anyone put left in Dunwall has something in the worth stealing, it's him. So whoever opens the safe gets double the normal cut. Slackjaw. Oh, that's just to make the swallow feel free. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting them. Drink till you drop, that's my motto. Enjoy. We're looking for food, um, I'm fine, it's funny. No, no. Mmm. Tasty. Nice to meet you, thug. <sighs> That's two different keys I need. I have no shame. I will rob anybody for a key. because I was invited, I am willing to walk through here. I didn't kill anyone. And no one saw me. Now let's say hi to Slidejaw. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. Indeed. A villain I might have 
have some work for. Oh? Somebody put plague in the food tank. Half my men are weepers. Try to <laughs> them in a distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so, and I find myself short of able bodies, oh. I may have a point of interest for you, see? Uh huh. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. That's right. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. Oh? They've been laying low there a while. Not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. It might be a fellow name of Galvani. Oh, I think you're talking about me. To investigate that he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. I'll Go do it. Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. That sounds like a deal. If you have a key. Seriously though, I need I need a key. Yeah, I respond. Do you have a key? <coughs> ah, that's annoying. Three darts wasted. It's only ninety bucks, but still, I can't buy that. Buy them till after the mission's over. Oh, they broke out. Oh, that counts. Damn it. Really? Oh, good. Steal, open, nothing. Steal. Oi, oi, oi. At least I don't have to talk to Slackjaw again. What's up there? I don't remember what's up there. Alright, I forgot about that. So a few darts. <laughs> Probably use them, use them up on the weepers. Who really stink? Anyway, let's go grab that bone jar. Sneaky, sneaky.
about time. Huh? I may not kill, but I don't really care if others do. As long as that's not me who is doing the killing. Namely me. Hi. Hi. Alright guys, this will be ending today's episode after we check out our new bone charm. Enemy grenades take slightly more time to explode. Not particularly. Oh yeah, I forgot. I bought more slots than I. I don't know what adrenaline is. Yes. Yes. Don't really need that. Nothing to do over here. Alright guys, I think I'll see you 